All right, thanks a lot, Frank. We're here with head coach of Perry, Matt Tabler. Coach, you know, it's got to feel pretty good to have a conference in your back pocket as you get ready for the playoffs. Yeah, we're a little rare in that we finish our conference so early because we have some teams that start their tournament a little earlier um, that are in our conference. So, um, yeah, 8-0 conference. Uh, that's our fourth uh, NWCC championship in uh, five years and happy for our kids, but that's only one championship. We're looking for a few more this year. Absolutely. You guys are looking at the four seed this year in the Walpog District and, you know, the, the draw that you got is, is kind of a tough one. You know, you got possibly Upper Slyota Valley or possibly New Bremen and those teams can, can pose quite a challenge for you. Well, our sectional is arguably uh, one of the toughest sectionals in the state. Uh, you know, Marion Local, St. Henry, Minster, um, all the MAC schools, and we know we have our work cut out. And if, you know, USV is fortunate enough to get by New Bremen, uh, they finish second in our conference. And either USV or us have won the conference the last uh, five years. So, you know, it's going to be tough, but uh, it's going to be a test. But we hopefully um, built our schedule the way we did so that we are uh, tournament ready. You know, as you take a look at the tournament and just kind of going back the last couple of years and, you know, you and I talked earlier this season, just the overall kind of building the program that you guys have been able to do. Kind of talk a little bit about that because we talked with Tice McLaughlin earlier. You know, we talked with Jeremy Best and, you know, we, we kind of cover those guys. We see them making those runs into mid-March that they're competing for district finals, they're competing for regional finals, and Perry is a program that seems to also be trending in that direction. Talk about kind of how your, you and your guys have kind of helped build that over the last couple of years. Well, I think the first thing you need are good kids. You need kids to buy in with what you're going to do. Um, we started this program 12 years ago, and, and we had a lot of thoughts on what we wanted to do, but, but the first thing we had to do is have the kids buy in. And I felt like our kids have bought in, and um, you know, someone like a Jamal Whiteside, who played with us on the state final four team, um, uh, two years ago. Um, he was our seventh man and he only averaged four or five points a game, but he bought into getting better and he improved over these last two years and now he's averaging 19 and a half points for us and, and his leadership is unbelievable and, and hopefully it goes with the next crop of kids. We've, we're playing three freshmen this year and, and we'll hopefully you know, we'll have good seasons with them and have younger kids follow with them. How have you seen that maturation process maybe even sped up when you've got guys that have you know, not just playoff experience, but they've got, you know, kind of state experience, and then they're using that to kind of help bring along the younger guys and just kind of create that overall expectation that, you know, basketball isn't done for us by the end of February, beginning of March. We expect to make a run into the, the, the Ides of March, as it were. Exactly, and it's one of those where the guys have uh, set a precedence for us that uh, we can't accept losing. We gotta be um, the best team we can be, and the seniors on this team, they sat on the bench as sophomores and saw um, what we could do um, when they were sophomores and making a state Final Four run. Um, last year we were a little unfortunate, kind of blew a 12-point lead in our sectional. Um, but uh, we got everyone back this year besides two guys, and hopefully we build on that from last year. Perry Head Coach Matt Taylor. Coach, thanks for, very much for your time, and good luck in the postseason. All right, thanks, Patrick. When we come back, we'll have Upper Scioto Valley coach Jeff Klopfer here and Frank Altieri. We'll be talking to him. Keep it here. We'll be back on the WOSN Postseason Selection Show.